Hi there guys and welcome back to Feed the Beast in Infinity. This episode we've got a bunch of things that we want to get cleaned up um, and I forgot, I know that one of you guys last episode you asked for me to put the Sfax patch on there so I'm going to go ahead and throw that on there on in the description is what I'm looking for there with my words, can't find my words. Um, so yeah, I'll throw that down in the description of this video how to get the Sfax um, main texture pack as well as the the patch for infinity now this episode we want to crack into making first things first we want to make a thing called an attractor obelisk but if we type an obelisk into NEI we should bring up this guy here the attractor obelisk from Ender IO. so I'm pretty sure we've got stuff to make a machine chassis we may even have one in our AE system solarium energetic yellow we can make all that we need an enticing crystal excuse me <coughs> Pardon me. Um, so for an enticing crystal, we need a soul vial an emerald, and an emerald. And the soul vial has to have a villager in there. So what we can do is we can make one of these guys. So that is some fused quartz, which is just um, four nether quartz smelted up in the uh, alloy furnace and a piece of solarium. Boom, gets us one of those. We're just going to take one for now because I think we get to keep that guy. And then we need to go to a village. Now, my that's not what I wanted to do. J, my village is... Where is it? It's down there, that guy in the green. 813 blocks away. So it's a fair old way away. So, where is my green? What I'm going to do, to be fair, guys, is I'm going to be a bit cheaty. Open to land. That cheat's on. Start land world. Cool. J waypoints village teleport and we're there oh wasn't that fast wasn't that fantastic um it saves me cutting the video flying out here doing all that stuff so we'll just check and see what he's trading he's trading books for emeralds so we're not going to do him he's trading emeralds for stuff so we're gonna take his soul we stole his soul Oh yes, I am the soul master. Right, that's not what we want to do. Jay, back to here, back to base. We have a bunch of teleporty thingies. Um, and now we need to make another thing as well. We need to make a soul soul binder. I think it is called soul binder. This guy here, and that needs a bunch of stuff. We almost have everything though. What else do we need? We need a skeleton skull. Do we have a skeleton skull downstairs? Would be my question. In here. We do not. Okay. So that's a bit of an issue. Hmm. I wonder if it takes a wither. I bet it does take a wither skeleton skull. What we'll do is we'll just double check that recipe. Soul, there it goes there. Does it have to be? Is it going to change? It is not going to change. Okay, so that's a little itty bit of an issue. Have I got one out on the wall, please? I do. Fan freaking tastic. Boom, skelly skull. I knew I collected them for a reason. Boom, boom, gives us a soul binder. Nice. Okay, now where are we going to put this guy? To be fair, I'm going to hook that guy up. So we'll quickly go in here. Don't want to go running power conduits and stuff around for now. So we're just going to throw that guy there. It's going to power up. And then we want to make the attractor obelisk, this guy here. So for that, we need the soul vial and diamond in the soul binder. Uh, not a diamond, sorry. We need an emerald. One of these guys that I managed to get last episode of the village, villager, and then we need to throw oh, that guy and that guy in there, and it needs 10 levels, which we do not have, so we're going to take 10 levels out of there, click use player XP, and it's going to start doing its thing. So that's going to take, a, it's not going to take too long, we'll wait for that, it's not going to take too long at all. And that should give us our empty soul while back as well as an enticing crystal. Now, we can throw our enticing crystal away. We'll throw that away in there as well. 
and we shall just throw that and that away in our backpack and then we want to make our we can make our obelisk now now with this guy if I hold shift draw mobs towards it specify the mobs to affect by placing their souls so you can place a soul vial within it with specific mobs if that is what you want to do otherwise you can just make it like so we need to oops we need to make another machine frame because we used the one we had in our AE system that is fine um, but if we just place it down as it is I'm pretty sure this thing requires power um, but if we just place it down as is it should attract everything that we need now I was going to place it just I wanted to place it on top of this chest but that is not going to work so what we might do is bang that Ooh, is that, that's not going to work is it god dang it um, hmm how are we going to do that we're going to have to reroute some things aren't we because I want what's there nothing that's going to work okay so we can go up and around jolly good so we need some power cables which kind of we've got we've got orangey looking ones which I think are just those guys they might be those guys we'll take them out as well um, we'll just see I think they're those they are not can I just break that I can I'm pretty sure they're these guys here so if we go boom oh look at that perfect And there should be one just there. Boom. And then we want to throw that guy there like so. And it should, I thought, range of 16. Hmm. I would have thought that would attract everything in. Maybe I do need to... Or is everything out of range? Maybe those guys are out of range. Hmm. Pretty sure that guy came running. Maybe we need to extend that, or maybe we need to put a soul vial in there. What we'll do is we'll go upstairs and we'll waste some energy. We're flying. And we shall steal a capacitor out of there. And head downstairs, throw this in, and see what happens. Boom. That has not attracted those guys over, has it? 64 blocks, but it's not attracting the creepers and whatnot. So the main ones that we want to actually attract are the wither skeletons. So what we will do is we will grab our soul vial, this guy here and we shall place that into the machine we're just going to jump oh into here we're going to go like so and grab him and throw all our stuff is gone where has that gone soul vial's gone where the skeleton's gone everything is freaking gone so the glass is there that's fine oh no there goes my soul vault nice just need to open up my inventory get rid of that put that back in then if we put that in there that should attract any wither skeletons nearby now hopefully that's going to work we need to see wither skeletons spawn but if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen Enchanted boots. Probably not going to happen because we haven't really got a lot of stuff. We need to get some, possibly a blaze spawner and throw in there, is what I'm thinking to get ourselves some blaze rods. Okay, but next thing's next. We want to create a wireless charger because we have all of this uh, woven armor, but we don't have anything to charge it. So I'm thinking a wireless charger for our base is what we require. Now I'm thinking this guy here from Ender.io. Now this takes an Ender Resonator, 
a bunch of electrical steel and an octodic capacitor. So we've got an octodic capacitor on us, but we're going to throw that guy back in here because we need him. So we'll just craft one of these. One, next, start. Boom, look at that, crafted. That was easy. Um, that was probably the easiest part of the process, to be fair. We need some vibrant alloy, we need an enderman head, and color solarium, and a couple of silicon. So that stuff there isn't too freaking bad. So, ender we don't have. Hmm, have we got one out here? I'm pretty sure we don't. Okay, so I'm going to have to hunt around to get that. We, we might leave that, and then I will hunt off camera and get ourselves an enderman head, because I'm pretty sure we don't have one downstairs. Nope. I thought I might have had one, but apparently not. Okay, so we're going to scrap that for now. The next thing I wanted to make was a speed upgrade for our ender quarry. So, speed, speed, this guy here. So, Ender Quarry Speed 1 Upgrade. Well, it's got mon well, geez, I can't even talk tonight. Um, a one power multiplier. So, we need basic Ender Quarry Upgrade, an Efficiency 1 Pickaxe, and a couple of these guys. Boom, boom. So, that gives us some of those. Nice. Um, where is it there? We want... Diamond pick efficiency one. So we should be able to do that. Just a if we can just do a diamond pick like so. And then efficiency I think is redstone. I think is redstone, yep, so we need twelve redstone to get efficiency one. Kaflunk. Ah, we need a book. We need a book and quill. This guy, flunk one of you. Nice. And I know we're going to need a butt ton of levels. So we can go in here, grab a couple of stacks of those. And if we just do like so, it's going to give us a bunch of levels. We'll just use up the stack. Dun 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 dun. Lovely music. Oh, did not mean to do that. Oh, we don't need that other stack. Okay, so in there we can chuck that. We can chuck that, and that is going to give us efficiency two. So we'll take half that out. Give us efficiency one. Nice. Redstone. Then in here we want our diamond pick. We want our book. Efficiency. <coughs> wow. Okay, so our anvil just exploded. That was weird. Never seen that happen, but okay. Very, very different. Kind of like a crafting bench explosion of earlier. Um, well, yesterday. Okay, so we're going to throw that in there and that in there. We'll get rid of that and that as well at this stage. And then we want our speed upgrade, speed, something we rather speed ender quarry speed upgrade we need this guy which is some burnt quartz surrounded by ender infused obsidian so in the qed okay so do we have any do we have any burnt we do not ender infused obsidian we have one ender and That guy there, Ender Dash Infused. Boom, flunk for nice. So we need those. We need some quartz. Now we only need one, two, three, four. Nice, nice, nice. Gives us a block. Now I'm pretty sure that if we Furnace mode only should Urgh, give us fused quartz. It should not have done that. 
It should not have done that. That is fine. We will go to, we'll actually grab a piece of charcoal. No, just coal. Like so. And we will go use a normal furnace. Because this does this to me. No, we've already got one there. We'll chuck them in as well. Does this to me repeatedly. And I'm sure you can use those blooming alloy smelters to make what we want to make. But it never does. Never freaking does. Okay, now in our QED, we should be able to chuck that guy there. One, two, three, four, and it should start making an Ender Quarry upgrade base. I love the QED, the quacky Ender device. <laughs> What's it going to say when I go back? Still quacky Ender device? Quite elegant device. Oh, that's a fitting name. I think it's very, very cool. I love the particles, I love the noise, I love the way it works. I love that you can stick them on the wall. I think it's freaking fantastic. Okay, throw that in there, that, that. And then we should be able to bake these. Oops, speed. Upgrade for the quarry, like so. Boom. Okay, let's head to the quarry age. Boom, boom. Dun, dun, dun. And throw this guy, like so. That should be going a butt ton faster. It is. It really, really is. Awesome. Head back. And now, things should be panicking to keep up with this bad boy. Awesome. We're getting a butt ton of iron. We're getting ferrous. We're getting all of these good things. Now, our main problem is probably, oh, too far, going to be power. I'm guessing we're still keeping up. Okay, jolly good. We're still keeping up. Fan freaking tastic. Um, probably to do with our solar. Um, can we go ahead and make another one of these guys? We can. Okay, we're going to hit start on that. Nice. It's going to do its thing. Quickly sleep. I'm just going to see how many of those we've actually got. We should have a bunch of them by now. Well, that's only going to give us four. So it's going to give us four of them. We need another four of them. That was close. Very close. We need another four of those. Oh, that's not the level I wanted. Before we can go ahead and make the next tier. Um, so, solar something or other is what it's called. And we need to make the resonant solar panel. Now, the resonant solar panel requires four enderium nuggets. So that's not actually too bad. To make that um, not too bad at all and that gives out 512 RF per tick so not too bad but it does take a butt ton of stuff to make it eight of these guys so we're gonna need to run our quarry quite a few more times and we're gonna need to set up a tank downstairs and make a argh, bloody cats make a butt ton of iron so I think that's attracting all the skeletons over not just the ender skeletons which is pretty cool uh, with the skeletons I mean ender skeletons whatever um, okay very cool can't remember what I was doing I've lost I'm lost gonna quickly throw those away before I lose them start clicking these things have a look at my little list here oh I know what oh, that's not what we want to do I don't know something else we want to make and it's also made in the QED so we want to make a thing called a magnum torch this guy here now it's pretty freaking expensive and I think it's very cool it goes ahead and it bans all um, hostile mob spawning within a certain area now the reason I want to make this, I want to make this to put in the quarry area so that when I go, excuse me, my nose is really itchy. Um, so that when I go to my quarry world, when I spawn in there, I don't get instantly attacked by mobs, which tends to happen fairly regularly. So first of all, we're going to need normal wood possibly by the looks of it works, some logs, but we're going to need five chandeliers. So chandeliers are like so, boom, one and we're out of torches 
two, three, four, five, like so. So the five chandeliers are done. And then the next thing we need is a potion of healing and a potion of regeneration. So I have never made a potion before, ever in Minecraft. I've never ever once made a potion. So this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna need a brewing stand. If I can find W on my keyboard, which I struggled with there for a second. Boom, a brewing stand. We have one of those. Okay, so we're gonna put this somewhere handy because like I said, never been done before. That, to me, is pointing the wrong direction. Come to me. I th still think you're pointing the wrong direction. Okay, apparently that's just the way it's going to go. Okay, jolly good. Anywho, so... I can't re already can't remember the names of the two potions I need. My memory is shot, guys. Potion of regeneration and potion of healing. Potion... Of re of regen oh there's so many potions of regeneration regeneration 2 that one which requires the basic one with some glowstone so the basic one is a bottle of water with a gas tear okay so that's not too bad so a bottle of water so water oh so we're going to need, uh, we'll take all of those, but we can only take one at a time. We need a bunch of those. And we need a ghast tier. We'll just take one of them for now. So boom, 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 shift click. Boom, and a ghast tier. And that supposedly is going to do its thing and make a potion of regen. Okay, get rid of these for now. Potion of Regen. Ah, so that's what we needed. We needed some glowstone. Glowstone, we need one of the, like so. And then once that is done, we have a mundane potion. Okay, so that didn't work. Potion of regeneration so that one there ah so we need to make an awkward potion first which is near the wart okay well that was a waste of a gust here we're gonna put that away because that might come in handy but we need some nether wart one of the we need another gas tier like so and then we need to go back in here we need to go kaflunk kaflunk should make us a basic potion and then we need to add a gas tier and then we need to add the glowstone so I think that's going to get this job done and then we need to start working on the second potion so this guy here should give us what we require an awkward potion then a gas tier should give us a potion of regen this is very slow wish you could speed up your brew i bet you there's an automated brewing stand for doing this i guarantee there is excuse me i'm just gonna have a drink mm, lovely okay this guy is almost done and we have a potion of regeneration glowstone dust should go ahead and give us the two version which goes from 45 seconds down to 22 but it must be a better regen i'm guessing a faster regen don't really use potions too much unless i i was going to say win them but in, unless i like get them from mobs and stuff 22 seconds but it is regen two lovely so we had a potion of regeneration two so the next one we needed was Geez, my memory is shocking, team. It really is. Um, I can't even remember what we're making. Magnum Torch. Magnum Torch. We need a potion of healing. I'm just going to go back because that is the po instant health too. So we need that one there. Oh, a glistening melon. So we need an awkward potion. 
and we need a melon. And of course I have no melons. Can I make a melon? Of course I can't make a melon. Can I make a melon? Hmm. Okay. None of this stuff is ever as easy as you would think, is it? I've got a pumpkin. I've got no fruit. Tomato, soybean, salt. No freaking melon seeds, though, is there? Peas, cotton, barley, saguaro. No freaking melons, though, team. No melons whatsoever. Okay. It's fly time. Um... Where exactly we're going to fly to, though? Okay, I'm going to disappear. I am going to turn up my render distance, and then I am going to go find a melon, and I will be back. See. Okay, guys, I'm back after what was a ridiculously long search. It's been over half an hour for me looking for a freaking melon, and guess what? I finally found some, along with a bunch of other stuff. I found a bunch of steel, including a steel block, um, a whole heap of books from witchery and uh, witchery and witchery and some lag and witchcraft and tinkers and a thomonomicon and a thomcraft crimson rites book, a book of biomes from witchery, all of these good things, as well as some dimlets and a witch's brew. A bunch of stuff, because I found about six new villages, uh, which I didn't actually mark, now that I think about it, but oh well, these things happen. Um, but I was way the crap, I was two, over 2,000 blocks away, and I was way here. That's where I found one melon. One freaking melon. 2,000 blocks south of where my base is. But hey, we found one. We did what we needed to do. Now we need to make that a glistening melon. So we're going to get rid of those and god that 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 um, and that will those there as well. Now we need to make a glistening melon. Glistening melon. That guy flunk. Of course we don't have enough gold nuggets. Of course we don't. Boom. Boom. Boom boom. Boom. Like so glistening got flunk one two glistening melons so I know we need at least one then we need our magnum torch because we should have made we're gonna leave that oh, I think we left that there we haven't got anything so we've got our potion of regen water bottle oh crap did I I'm pretty sure I threw out the one I actually wanted to keep. So I think we need to get rid of that. We need a magnum to stay up there. And we need a potion of healing. We need a potion of healing instant health. We need an awkward potion, which is nether wart. Okay, so nether. One of those. Like a flunk. Like so. Netherwart doing its thing. This is going to be one long ass episode. And then we need to add to the awkward potion one times glistening melon, which we can do. Is it done? Should be an awkward potion. Glistening melon. Cool. Oh, why is it not staying there? We're staying there a second ago. Magnum Pitch. And then, to that, gives us a potion of instant health, which we just need to add some glowstone, which gives us instant health too. Okay. Glowstone. One of the, like so, which we should have instant health. Glowstone gives us instant health too. Yet again, magnum torch. Ba-boom. So we just need to add all of those and a couple of logs. So we need our chandeliers. Five of. I'm going to move all of this stuff around a bit. Our potions. And some log. We'll grab a couple of great wood logs because we've got a bunch of them and surely they will suffice for the job. 
and we have our potion of instant health. Cool. So now this was in the QED. So we needed log log, I think potion, potion, chandelier, 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 like so. And it's making a Macintosh. Freaking awesome. Now that took some making, team. That took some making. Mainly because I didn't have much stuff. I killed a couple of endermen while I was out and about as well to try, as you saw, I put some enderpearls away to try and get an enderman head and to no avail at this stage. I still don't have an enderman head, so no freaking luck. We'll go over, we'll plonk this guy in the mining age. We're going to plonk this guy right about there. And that is going to stop mobs spawning all around this area. So if we disappear, if we go back, and then go back again, boom, when our map comes up, we have a, a circle of no mobs. It was like that before, but still, we have a circle of no mobs. Um, our import bus is not keeping up. Not even close. We're going to fill up. Okay, I wonder if that's doing that because we're not back here. Um, let's go downstairs and have a nosy. I've managed to grab a zombie brain from somewhere. Inventory is full, all those good things. Down here, not really even close to keeping up. We have got one acceleration card in there. We're going to have to throw a second acceleration card into this bat boy. ACC, we happen to have one lying around. Fan freaking tastic. Saves me making another one. Um, because something we desperately and direly need to get onto is a way to automate making processes and things like that. Cool. So we have got a butt ton more stuff coming in. It's coming in super fast. Our ME system is going to be filling up like nobody's business. It helps if I'm actually on the elevator block, doesn't it? Which it is. We've got a couple uh, completely full on bites. That one there is almost full on bytes and types, and that one's completely empty. So we're going to have to make a few more of those. I'm going to duck down real quick, and I'm on the table. Let's see our, our cobblestone is going. Ooh, we've got two, so we've got like 10 million cobblestone um, in these two blocks down here. That's got two in there. It should be moving a bit quicker now. Let me get rid of that. I don't know how that got in there because uh, we've got all that extra cobblestone coming in from the um, quarry and coming over here as well as our transfer node. I'm just going to duck down there and see if that's moving out of that barrel. It is. It is moving out of that barrel as soon as it gets in there. Cool. So cobble, we should have none. We don't. We have the old piece. Okay, fantastic. Everything's working, doing as it should. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, guys. A bit of a messy one with me making potions and things and um, having to go and hunt stuff out. I'll try and find an Enderman head before next episode so that we can make our wireless charger before the beginning of next episode, sorry. So we can make our wireless charger and we shall go from there. Okay, thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying and I will see you in the next one.